When working with lists of data, it's very often to want to know the index of an item as you're iterating over it. With Kotlin's built-in for each iterator, you don't have access to the index. You only have access to the value, which is the person. However, there is an overload that we can use for each indexed. This will allow us to use get us the index of the current operation and the person at that given index. So for example, if we were to print line this, we could see something like this. We'd say index, and we'd use string interpolation here. And then we could say person. And if we were to run this, actually we can use move the curly braces there because the data class will give us a good two string method. We'll see when we print this out here, we have the index zero and the person object that is associated with the index zero. Now this is very useful if you're doing operations in which you need to know the index of a particular value inside of that data structure for whatever reason, you now have the index and you have the value that's associated at that given index to perform whatever operation that you need. So if you need that, you'll wanna use the for each indexed oper operator. We're using the Lambda expression version here. You may also have seen this with, a, with parentheses like this. This will also work. However, you'll notice that IntelliJ or Android Studio, whatever you're using, will give you a hint here that it does not need that. This is a Lambda argument, so it can be moved out of the parentheses, basically just remove the parentheses, and the Lambda expression is passed in via the SAM operations. And that's how you use for each indexed.